One of the other great things about turbo shapes is we can create customized turbo shapes. Let's take a quick look at how this works. If we look at the turbo shapes list, there's lots of options on the list, but we also have the option at the bottom to create a turbo shape. Let's walk through exactly how this is done. The first thing that we'll need to do is insert a couple of shapes into the presentation. Let's go up to the insert menu on the ribbon and select shapes. From the list, we're going to select here an oval. Now, if we want to get a perfect circle, one little Excel trick is that we can hold down the Windows key and the Shift key together, and this will give us a perfect circle here, and then we just let go when we get the shape that we're looking for. Now let's insert another shape. Again, from the Insert menu, we're going to go into Shapes, and let's select down here one of these stars. And again, we want to use the same trick with the Windows and the Shift key in order to get a perfectly symmetrical star in place, just like that. Next, we're going to want to change the color of this star. We can do that up in the Macabacus section of the ribbon. Under Fill Color here, we're going to select White, and then we're going to take it and just center it right over the middle of that circle, just like that. So for this turbo shape, we're going to want to see just a blue circle, and then we want the ability to turn on or off this white star. We're going to configure all of this over here on the top right corner in the selection pane. You can get to the selection pane in the home menu. If you go across to the right under editing and under select, we can hit here selection pane. Or if you'd prefer, you can use the keyboard shortcut Alt F10, which can turn on or off the selection pane. Let's go up to the selection pane now and configure a couple of things. Let's click on here where it says Oval 9. And in fact, we're going to double click so that we can change this name. We're going to type in Circle. And then in square brackets, we're going to put 1, 2. The reason we're putting these in square brackets is we want the oval or the circle to be visible in states 1 and 2. Let's hit enter. Now we need to go ahead and configure the star. Let's click on the star. Over into the selection pane, we're going to double click and we're going to change this name to just star. And then again, use square brackets and we're only going to put a 2 in here and hit enter. The reason we're putting a 2 is we only want the star to be visible in the second state for the turbo shape. All right, we only have a couple simple steps left. Let's highlight both the circle and the star and then right click over top of them. We want to go down to this part of the menu that says group and select group right here so that these are now grouped together. And we can see up in the selection pane that this has been labeled as group 11. Let's go ahead and just double click that and instead call this maybe star turbo shape. And then we're going to hit enter. And now the last and final step. While this grouped shape is selected, we go up to the Macabacus section on the ribbon under Turbo Shapes, and we're going to go to the bottom and click Create Turbo Shape. We get the dialog that the shape has been marked as a custom turbo shape. We'll say OK to this, and now we have the ability to use these arrows to turn that star on and off. Amazing. It's really great to be able to go up here and use turbo shapes from this menu, but now we know how to also create our own custom turbo shapes. This is another great feature brought to you by Macabacus. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon in the next video.